Hey amazing hackers, welcome back. Previously we have seen how NoSQL databases work and how to detect NoSQL injection. This time we will be using NoSQL operators to exploit NoSQL operator injection to bypass authentication. Okay, so let's see that. Okay, what do we have here? The login functionality for this lab is powered by MongoDB NoSQL database. It is vulnerable to NoSQL injection using MongoDB operators. Hmm, interesting. To solve the lab, log into the application as administrator user. You can log into your own account using the following credentials, Viner and Peter. So what are MongoDB operators? So this is the MongoDB official documentation. Okay, so here we have a lot of operators, right? Update operators, query operators. Okay, so let's see the query operators. So this is what we actually want. Okay, so if you see, we have comparison operators, which means it will compare our value with some other value. Okay, and say if it is equals to or not. Okay, so it will return a true or false conditions this is same with all the other conditions over here and here we have a special operator so this is not equals to if this is equals to then this is not equals to okay so we are going to be using all of this when the time comes okay but as of now let's make sure that you understand this operators okay so let's jump into the lab and here we have credentials to log into the app okay so let's see that all right let's log in viner and peter okay we were able to successfully log in okay right let's see the burp suite and check the flow of the request okay so here we have clicked on my account this is what happens when uh, we click on the login button okay so if you see the request here we have our data okay viner and peter right let's send it to repeater and here let's send it again as you can see it is able to log us in okay so if you see 302 then it is going to redirect to this location which is my account and id equals to viner okay and it is also giving a new session id so here in the proxy HTTP history also, you can see that it is a 302 and the next request it is logging us in. Okay. So let's play with this. And as you can see, we are not sending data in a traditional way. We are sending the data in a JSON format. Okay. So this particular format is called JSON. Okay. JavaScript object notation. Okay. So you can manipulate and use any of the operators that we have discussed here okay so let's try one of them so what if we try to log in to viner user without any password okay so how do we do that i can just replace this password with some true condition a boolean condition okay something like true so this is not directly possible but what you need to do is you need to create this true condition using some operators here okay so what you can do is you can create your payload in such a way that you have a dictionary inside a dictionary okay so here you actually generate not equals to and in this you can keep any value okay if you keep no value also it is fine you can keep any value since this is not equals to the password which you are expecting so this should return true so you copy this and you go back to burp suite you paste it over here this will automatically do all the indentation for you here there is a small correction as you can see every parameter is enclosed with double quotes okay so you can keep double quotes around this parameter as well okay so this is a key value pair and this whole thing is a key value pair let's send it and let's see what happens and as you can see it is logging us in what if we keep a null value which means nothing so let's try that okay it is logging us in and as you can see this value evaluates to true because it is not equals to nothing or not equals to something which is not the password so you don't actually need the password you just need to generate a true condition 
so let's use the same thing in the username parameter also let's see what happens so this should be enclosed in double quotes and let's copy this let's replace this with this and let's send it now what happened is username equals to true and password equals to true okay so this is what happened so it goes to the database and checks all the true conditions which means it brings out every username and password so it will return multiple records and as you can see query returned unexpected number of records so the browser is not able to understand or it is not able to deal with this kind of scenario where it returns multiple records a record is a user profile since this is a login feature so it doesn't understand how to log in these many users okay makes sense so it should only return one record so that it understands that this user has to be logged in okay so since it returned multiple records it doesn't understand how to log those many people in okay even if it returns two records then also it is not able to log in okay what you do in this case is instead of this not equals to operator you are going to filter out some users okay so to do that we use evaluation operator okay so in this evaluation operator let's use regular expressions okay so what is a regular expression if you have not used a regular expression so it is just simply filtering out data from the given data okay so let's understand that with, with an example as you can see this is a two line sentence okay so this is like uh, return key backslash n will create a new line so this is line number one and this is line number two okay so you are actually grepping out whichever sentence or line contains a u value okay which means it should return this value right so this is nothing but regular expression okay so if you want to return the first value you need to mention at least one character that belongs to this okay so let's use i it should return hi okay so if you have two values then it, sh it should also return two values right so now it should return both the lines it has returned both the lines right so until you have two values or any other values which will uniquely identify a single line only then it is going to return that particular single record or in this case a single line okay so here it should return h i u we will apply the same logic in the login functionality okay we use the regular expression and we want to filter out any user that has a particular string as username okay so in this case let's use w and let's see what happens and as you can see w is a part of viner user so it actually detected only that particular user and it has logged us in okay so in this case what is our goal our goal is to log in as administrator okay so you can directly keep the whole administrator let's see what happens okay here let's paste it and let's see and as you can see we were not logged in okay invalid username or password so this particular user doesn't exist okay so let's use part of a string okay let's use a and let's see what happens okay it is giving five 500 error which means we have returned multiple records okay so there is another user who has a inside him okay so you need to add something else to it let's keep a d so we are trying to filter out which has admin okay so a d let's send it and as you can see this seems to be the admin account okay so since this is not exactly like administrator like this we did not get logged in okay if we keep viner here we should be logged in okay sorry it should be this okay right so let's keep this instead of admin and you should get the same result okay so even if you keep ad it should return same result even if you keep the whole thing it should return the same result since you are able to log in you should be able to solving the lab okay if you don't see congratulations message 
then you should just copy this and show response in browser let's paste it and hit enter and as you can see you solve the lab okay so i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one